Oh man, Bowels Moon Wait, bring y'all another video. Alright. Roberto Aguayo, right? He um is one of the most accurate um kickers in NCA football history. Um he played at Florida State for three seasons. He was there for four. He registered his his, his uh, first season back in 2012. Um, this is the whole thing, right? <clears throat> and like this is my opinion um, about the pick. Um, you know, it's a lot of people that's complaining about the pick, saying that they reached and all this other shit. All right, so let me let me just run the past folks that don't understand about the Bucks. Two years ago, uh, we had Patrick Murray uh, kicking. Um, you know, Barf he was out. I, I, I think Barf uh, was released or something, whatever. No, you know, matter of fact, he was cut. Um, they cut Patrick Murray, uh, and he was terrible. Um. And people were bitching the whole year about the kicker. About, yeah, man, we need Connor Barth back. Well, they got Connor Barth back uh, last season. Uh, he was 23 for 28. You know what I'm saying? He was all right. Um, and, um, but, yeah, um, the kicking situation hasn't really been great over the last couple of years. So I'm trying to figure this out because – you know, people. I'm not, I'm not saying it's 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 every ten. You know, it's every Tampa Bay fan, but but um, y'all wanted a new kicker. We needed a new kicker. So when Tampa Bay traded up, they traded their third and fourth round pick. Like, well, they had one third. Um, and then they had two fourth rounders. They traded the third and one of the fourth rounders to move up, and they went up and got Aguayo. Um, me personally, I like the move. Um, he will, and I have seen him kick. Okay, so why is it that people are complaining that they reached? They Tampa Bay fans wanted Vernon Hargraves. They wanted Vernon Hargraves, and they wanted Noah Spence. They got Noah Hargraves in the first round, Noah Spence in the second round. They got the two main guys that the fans were wanting. Some some people were saying they want Noah Spence with the ninth pick. But they got him at 39. Winner. Y'all wanted Noah Spence. Now y'all got him. Y'all better hope he produce. I, I wanted Vernon Hargraves, man. I've been preaching about him for the longest. But I'm not mad at the kicker, man. Technically, he was he was the third round pick. All they did was just move up. <laughs> they just moved up in the draft to get one of the best kickers in NCAA history. So why y'all mad at Roberto Aguayo? Y'all mad now, but when he's winning games. For the Bucks, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear nothing, man, because, I mean, like, it, it don't make no sense. Like, y'all hated Jameis. Y'all hate Vernon Hargreaves' pick. Y'all hate Roberto Aguayo. Damn, all y'all fans or what? Because, like, all I see is hate. Now, I'm not talking about the brothers on YouTube. You know, talking about Buck Nation, they'll do the videos. I'm not talking about them. Shout out to them anyway. Shout out to everybody, man. Um, but 
I'm talking about the people that's on the Timber Bay page, Facebook, whatever. And they're just coming up with all types of shit. Like the outsiders, people that don't even like the Bucks. Oh, why they pick a kicker? Why they pick this? Why they do that? They feel... Look. We needed a guy in the secondary. A guy on the D-line. They got it with the first two picks. So anything after that just fell into place. Once we got Vernon, I already knew everything was going to fall into place. Aguayo was just the extra fucking uh, present right there. You know what I mean? Like, they they got, they getting together a roster to compete in the NFC. You know what I'm saying? They got a roster that, that they got to compete against Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, <laughs> it, it, it's just crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And I be reading this shit. And uh, people people saying that it's a dumb move. It was it was a retarded move to get Aguayo. They moved up 15 spots. They gave away the fourth. Actually, the fourth was the extra pick that they got from the um from the Bears. When they traded when the Bears wanted to move up, the Bears gave them their fourth round. They flipped that with the third round and gave it to uh, KC to move up to the, to the uh, 59th pick. So technically, Aguayo is their third round pick. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear shit from nobody. From nobody. When Aguayo... It's hitting everything. It could be a situation during this season. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to win that kicking job over Conor Barf. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of the situations during the season. And, and like, <laughs> Tampa Bay down two. And Jameis down there, he taking them down. They call timeout. They on, they on the... They on the thirty-four yard line. You got to kick a fifty-two yard field goal, whatever it is. And the guy will come out there. He kick it. Two seconds, one seconds, and it's good. Don't be on his dick then. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're going, if you're going ride with him, ride with him. But, but like, don't be hating on them first. They be like, oh yeah, I always yeah, you know, I always liked him. That's that bullshit. Either you gonna ride with Tampa Bay or not. Either you gonna ride with the Bucks or you are not. It's plain. It's it's just plain and simple. Either you gonna roll with, with the team. Or you go watch somebody else. I'm all the way up here in Philly. And I rep these motherfuckers harder than the motherfuckers that's now Florida right now. I take a lot of shit from people. All the time. About the Bucks. When Tampa Bay beat the Eagles this year. Oh. They heard it. They heard it from me. Look, I am all in with the Bucks, man. Whatever they do, I support them, man. Y'all, I mean, y'all see the videos. The only time they, like the videos I put up that be negative is if they playing like dog shit. Or they did some dumb shit. I'm saying like, you know, this draft was good. This is the second draft that Jason Light has put together. And it's a, it's a slow process. Last year, they went offense. Jameis, very, very good player, yo. And I like Jameis a lot, man. 
They got two offensive linemen last year. They got Quan Alexander last year. They got Vernon Hargraves this year. Noah Spence, who, who the, the fans wanted. Just check out the Tampa Bay page. That's what the fans wanted. They wanted Noah Spence. They wanted a defensive end, and they wanted the corner. And they got both. So what's wrong with the kicker? Yes, Jameis can use another, uh, uh, you know, weapon. I understand that, but like once, once all the big guys went, I didn't give a fuck about them other guys, man. I mean, like Braxton Miller, he cool, but he ain't no really no wide receiver. I'm saying he's, I mean, he's a. He's an athlete. He got skills, but he's not no complete wide receiver. That's what we need up in the slot. I think I think Lewis Murphy or Kenny Bell could fill that. But but like after like look, Doxon went, Corey Coleman, Sterling went, Michael Thomas went. After, I mean like after the big guys went. Man, fuck everything else. They got to fill the knees, man. You got Vincent Jackson. You got Vincent Jackson, Mike Evans. You got Lewis Murphy. You got Kenny Bell. You got Austin Severian Jenkins. Doug Martin. And Chris Sims. They got good talent, man. They just got to stay healthy. That's the, only, that's the only issue that's stopping Tampa Bay from is the health, man. <laughs> people people crack me up when they trying to tell me about my team. How are you gonna tell me about my team? I'm gonna support the team. <laughs> you worry about your team and not worry about the Bucks. That that's how that shit works. I'm done, man. Team Tampa, rise up, man. We're gonna be alright. Training camp. July, let's get it. Preseason, let's get it. Regular season, let's get it. Playoffs, let's get it. Super Bowl, possible, but let's get it. Let's get it. Tampa could do it. They got to play together and stay healthy, man. But that's all I got to say, man. I'll let y'all later. Probably do another video later on in the week. But other than that, I'm out, man.